When you're drawing from real flowers and leaves, the things that you want to pay attention to are just overall shape and then any sort of lines, creases, any shadows that you might see. Um, and that's basically the same thing that we're going to see in, in photographs and in illustration. The things that we'll be focusing on with this flower are just the petals, the creases in the petals, uh, and how they are shaded. We're just going to use line work on those for our line drawings and then uh, a little bit of texture in the middle. First I'm going to incorporate the center and I'm just going to do some pinpoint dots that are really close together. You want to create the density here so you don't really see the separation. I'm going to add in the additional texture around that. And to do that, there's a couple different ways. You can do these little half circles like this. A little bit bigger, that looks like this. Uh, you can also do hollow circles. So that's really up to you. Uh, and I encourage you to create your own patterns here. And then from here I can go on to the petals and notice that they are narrow at the bottom, they come out and then they meet again at the top. The largest part of the petal is about three quarters of the way up. So we are going to make that our largest area and then come back in. And then at the very, very tip of the petal, you will see that there is a small little dip, like a tiny V. And so we're going to also incorporate that. And they're not super long. A good way to look at how long they are is measure the middle. So about the end of my pen to here, and then take that to the petal. So it's just gonna be, it's about that length actually. So on your paper, think about the length here, and then your petal is gonna be about the same. And I'm kind of, I want to make these imperfect. And notice that as they come up, I'm actually putting some behind as well. And if it's easier, you can start and do the entire first circle around before you add anything to the back. And so narrow here, wider here, and then narrow here again. And then I encourage you to make some a little further apart, some a little closer together. And these don't have to be perfect because it is line drawing, so it's supposed to look more like a doodle. But you'll see how something very imperfect turns out to be something that looks a little more intricate once it's finished. That looks good to me, and you can keep adding until you feel happy with it. Um, I like to leave these little gaps in because I think it looks a little more organic. And then you see the lines they actually come all the way through. For me, my style, I think it looks a little too cluttery. You can do it that way if you want to. Um, my recommendation would be to avoid doing straight lines the whole way, but rather follow the curve of the petal. So if you were going to do the middle line, just follow the curve as you're coming up. But what I'm going to do is, and you can switch to a smaller tip pen for this, but I'm just going to keep the 05 and start from the middle and just do kind of a quick release there. 
So it's kind of like a flick of your pen. So I'm going to start in the middle and just go real fast outward. And I'm going to do that from every petal at the base. And you can also do this without doing it quickly. So if you have a petal, here's your base, you can do it like this too. And that's just a different style choice and that looks really nice as well. And then I'm also going to do it at the tip. Uh, you can see they're kind of just minimal. It's the, where the base is reaching up and into the top. And I'm just going to do a couple little creases here and there because I'm not dragging the whole way through. I don't need to have it be that perfect match. And I don't need to put these on every single one of them either. So I might skip a few which creates more of like a movement in a doodle, which is eye-pleasing because you don't usually see movement in doodling. And that's it. And then you have your flower.